Mega Stable here. Today I got a look at Citadels in World of Warships Legends. This will be primarily for newer players, but hopefully we'll have some information that players of all calibers will find interesting. I want to start off by looking at the ship's diagram. This is something that my moderator on my Discord, link to that in the description of this video, uh, the moderator, Boots Normandy, very helpful individual, he helps me out with information, helps out other players. I also see him pop up on Reddit, he might be on other uh, resources for World of Warships Legends. Anyway, thanks for, to him for allowing me to use this diagram. He puts these up for a lot of different ships, uh, kind of shows the armor schemes. These are taken off, or it's, he looks at the PC version and then uh, makes them from there, I believe, so... Thank you to Boots for that information. Anyway, where the Citadel is on the ship, it's that yellow highlighted section on the bottom ship there. Now, dotted horizontal line, that's the water line. So you can see on that particular ship, the Citadel basically is at the water line. Sometimes the Citadels will extend higher above the water line, sometimes a little bit lower. The lower it is, the easier or, I'm sorry, the lower it is in the water, the harder it is to hit, um, especially from shots coming in horizontally. One thing I do want to point out as well, uh, note the position in terms of horizontal position. In this particular diagram, we can see the citadel extends between the front turret, basically the front of the front turret, and the back of the rear turret. That's a common scheme that you're going to find. The citadels are always located in the center of the ship from some perspective, but sometimes it's from the middle, let's say on this one it could be the second turret to the back turret. Sometimes, you know, it's inside of the turrets all together. So that's kind of one of the things that makes this game interesting is every ship has different uh, armor schemes, different citadel locations. But in general, if you're hitting the ship center, water line that's kind of the aim point if you need to move it back a little bit for certain ships move it forward uh, if it's a little bit easier to hit because it extends above the water line a little bit harder because it you know, doesn't really extend above the water line at all that varies ship to ship but that's kind of the general idea we're going to be shooting water line now we'll see that in a game here i got a tier 4 italian cruiser game monte Caccioli. Uh we're going to be highlighting some aspects of hitting citadels in this game. So this game we got a barrage of citadels toward the end of the game. So leading up to that I'll kind of discuss some generalized principles, maybe not reference the particular game as much, and then when we get to the citadel section, or rather seeing the citadels in action section, uh, then we'll hopefully get the everything lined up so we're talking about what's actually happening in the background. But citadels now that we've seen kind of where they're located on the ships, how do we hit them? Uh, it comes down to armor angling, which if you're a brand new player, that's also a topic you want to look into. I do have a beginner's series playlist on this channel that covers all these topics that are important for new players, elevate you from scrubby potato to above average player in just a handful of hours of viewing those topics. So I would recommend that out, uh, recommend those videos goes into armor angling more than I'm going to go into here. Basically, from the perspective of hitting citadels and, in general, shooting at ships, you want to be shooting at them when they're presenting full, flat broadsides to you. So if a ship is angled, which means it's either pointed mostly directly at you or mostly away from you, that's a well-angled ship, then it's... That's the opposite of broadside, which is when the ship is completely flat to you. When it's flat to you, your shells have less armor to go through. Uh, they're far less likely to ricochet. In fact, uh, once it gets to a flat enough angle, it's impossible to ricochet. Um, the, overall, the armor schemes are easier to penetrate. Uh, how citadels typically work is you have ships outside armor, there might be multiple layers of that armor, and then you get to a citadel section internally, which also usually has its own armor scheme. So when you're angling ships, not only does the outside armor become stronger uh, from a ballistic standpoint, but then once the shell gets inside, also can have trouble uh, penetrating that internal citadel. So 
There's a lot of cruisers, for instance, which are kind of generally one-shottable ships. If you're broadside to a battleship, it hits you. There's a strong possibility, if it has multiple shots entering your citadel, that your game is over. Um, but it, most cruisers, when they're steeply angled towards or away from those battleship guns, even if they're still going to be taking internal penetration shots, those shells might not have enough oomph to get through that angled citadel. So in general, when we're trying to achieve citadels, we're going to be trying to shoot ships broadside, waterline. The other way to get citadels usually... Um, Sometimes you can get them against angled targets. It has to do with the particular ship's armor schemes. We're not going to go too in-depth into that, but this is just kind of a general guide. The other way you can do it, really long-range shots. You know, the closer you get to a ship, the more horizontal those shells are coming into the target. The further away, the higher the shells are shot into the air to get to the extended distance needed to reach the target. But once they get there, they end up dropping straight down on the target. In that case, if the shell can penetrate the deck armor and the citadel armor uh, vertically, then you can penetrate the citadel that way. So sometimes adjusting the aim point for kind of max distance targets to get those shells to drop kind of into the deck. And you can do that just kind of aiming right at the top of the hull. Usually is a good aim point to get those deck shots. You can sometimes get the citadels that way. But just in general, the citadel is this internal component usually contained in the middle of the ship at the bottom of the ship and we're just trying to get the AP shells to get in there and blow up in those sections. Any ship can score citadels with their guns. Not all classes of ship can take citadels. Destroyers don't have a citadel component to their ship so no matter how hard you try, no matter how well you aim at those things you're never going to get a citadel shot at them. You can get heavy, heavy damage on them, which will sound the same on the player's uh, screen who's receiving that damage. The heartbeat will go off. Uh, there'll be some stress-inducing indicators on the screen that say you just got lit up, but that's not technically a citadel. Not possible. Destroyers, however, can score citadels. How scoring citadels comes down to it's just a function of the guns, uh, versus the armored shooting at. So let's say you have a tier 4 American destroyer Farragut uh, shooting at a broadside New York American battleship. Doesn't matter how many times that destroyer shoots at that broadside American battleship. You can take a thousand rounds. You're not going to get any citadels. At least I don't believe so. But the gun caliber, not strong enough to punch through the outside armor and the citadel armor so you're not going to get those type of scores but if we have a Farragut shooting at a broadside Omaha for instance American light cruiser that armor perfectly you know it's light enough so that situation is perfectly uh, adequate for that type of destroyer to score those hits a lot of times if you have a mission for a campaign or whatever that says go score 10 citadel hits or eight citadel hits in a game or something a uh, tier four destroyer such as the farragut often is a really good choice to do that you can get into those close quarter combat situations with cruiser players who might not be that aware of the power of armor angling or they might not be aware of it at all and they'll just sit there broadside and you can score those citadels very rapidly with a destroyer that's reloading the guns every three seconds uh, pumping out the damage so that's a good option. Uh, tier 4 in general, that's why I picked this Monte Caccioli. Uh, we're still leveling that one up, so when we get the Trento, I'll have enough points into it uh, to unlock it right away. But I figured, you know, since we need some Citadel footage, this would be a good option. Tier 4 in general is pretty good. The cruisers don't have a lot of armor, but the uh, the guns are accurate, adequate enough to um, get that damage done. What is a citadel? I guess we should cover this before we start diving into the citadel footage. Citadel is when you go to your stats screen on the ship and you look at the stat that says maximum AP damage. When you hit the citadel, that's when you're scoring the maximum AP damage. So let's say you have a battleship that does 10,000 damage with their AP shells maximum. That's for a citadel shot where the shell 
enters the Citadel and explodes within the Citadel. That'll pop the Citadel ribbon up on the shooter screen, and that's when you're getting the 10,000 damage. If you get a penetration anywhere in the ship, that ex it explodes in the ship, but it's not in the Citadel, then you get a third of the damage. So for that 10,000 max damage battleship, that would be a 3,000 uh, type hit. If you get an over penetration, which means the shell travels through the target before it either has time to explode or it doesn't encounter enough armor for the fuse to actually arm, so it just uh, you know, travels through the ship without the fuse actually going off, that's 10%. So that 10,000 damage battleship, you'll get 1,000. That's why when you're shooting destroyers, you typically see 1,000 damage roughly per shell uh, for those battleship levels. That's still usually roughly about 10% of the ship's you know, health, and if you get five or six of those over pens, half the health is gone. So still worthwhile shooting at those destroyers even if you have AP loaded. Don't worry about that. Just because you're getting an over pen doesn't mean you're not doing massive amounts of damage. Now you might be thinking to yourself, T-Bull, that information is all well and good, my boy, but what is this footage? You got zero citadels. Well, <laughs> We're uh, coming to the part of the game where we're going to rip them off very quickly here. Usually what you're trying to do with uh, any ship that has decent AP is use that AP whenever you can. When the broadside targets are there, when the opportunities to score that damage is there, go ahead and use the AP. But if the targets aren't available, then maybe the HE's the better shell. Uh, here though, we got this Omaha closing in here. Now we're trying to deal with the battleship. So we angle away from the Omaha, make sure we're protecting ourselves there. Uh, we definitely don't want to get shot by that Wyoming, but it looks like he's preoccupied by someone else. So we're angling against the Monte Cuccioli on their team and the Omaha. This is not a great fight to be in 2v1 with the potential for a battleship to just swing its guns around and blow us up at any moment. So should probably be uh, popping the smoke here. Looks like we got the torp on the Wyoming. Uh... Probably not, well, there we do pop the smoke. I think I was holding on to it because of that battleship. We, of course, need some spotting. The guy to the east that we're going to be uh, vigorously pinging, who says he's on his way here. We need him to spot, basically. Omaha is turning in, though. Previously, he was well-angled, pointed at us, but we recognize he was turning broadside, so we switch over to HE as soon as we discharge that load in his direction. Now we're just kind of waiting for that battleship to hopefully close in. Uh either close enough to them to spot him, maybe they'll shoot at him, and that'll alert us to their position, or maybe he'll just sail towards them and spot them uh, naturally on their own. Either way, that's kind of the play here. But Omaha, you can see he's, well, he's not as angled as he would like to be. In fact, we do have access to the broadside there. And no citadels in that particular instance. You note the aim point, of course, waterline. If he's coming towards us as he is here, we might want to aim just a smidge lower than the waterline on that ship. But there you see we rip him for five citadels, and that is critical damage that he will not soon forget. He doesn't really see us in this particular case because we do have the smoke deployed. He needs to be turning away to prevent the other citadels from happening. Does not do so, and uh, we take him out there. So seven citadels in two salvos, and you can see kind of the aim point. Again, we just want to hit that ship basically right at the waterline. If he's angled steeply, it's not going to work. Same play there. We waited for the Monty to turn broadside. We aimed just a, probably just a smidge right below him because he was still coming a little bit towards us, and those ripped him right in the citadel there for some catastrophic damage. So you can see that's how you do big damage in this game. You hit those citadels. That's how your ship's doing the maximum amount of damage. I don't want to say you can't do it with HE, you almost never can do it with HE. Yes, if you shoot a Danae or a Caladon, like some of the lightest armored uh, ships in the game, sometimes you can sit at all those guys with HE shells, but most of the time, not. So when we're making fun of battleships that only load HE, it's because they're preventing themselves from doing the maximum amount of damage. They're just saying, okay, we're going to take very low damage output, more likely to do it, because, um, you know, if a ship's angled against your AP, they can mitigate how much damage they're taking. But as you gain experience, you can just adjust your aim point. Aim a little bit higher up in the ship, hit them in the superstructure, aim for the turrets, knock out their offensive production. 
there's options. Uh, so battleships, most of them, discounting a select couple of uh, British battleships who might specialize in HE, usually just load up the AP, look for those broadside opportunities, and hunt those citadels, because that's when you will rack up the damage. Here we got 100k, almost four times our ship's HP in the Monte Caccioli. So pretty good game here. We're not quite done yet. We are closing in. Now we do have a lead on the score here. Um, so I guess we're probably ma mainly going for style points. I could fast forward it here. The game is almost over. This may be a little inapposite um, when it comes to shooting citadels because of course we got HE loaded for shooting destroyers. That's almost always the shell you're going to want to shoot at destroyers when you get the chance to choose. But I think this is an interesting finish here. We're getting located. We're trying to put pressure on the cap here. We do have a score lead, um, but we're just kind of making sure that, you know, if we can spot this guy without getting surprised Torp, that would be ideal. There he does kind of push right into us all. And we do have the HE loaded. We line up the shot and down he goes for the Confederate. So Hopefully that was a good look at Citadels. Hope it helps you guys out improving your play. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, I'll leave them below. Love to hear from you guys. And we'll see you all later. Peace.